Today I'm at RP Motorhomes in the beautiful Yorkshire countryside and not talking about cows but this fabulous Explorer 2 motorhome, the latest product from RP. It's based on a 7 metre Mercedes-Benz Sprinter van but not just any old Mercedes-Benz Sprinter van. This is actually an L3 H3, so it's an extra high van, and you'll see the reason for that as soon as we go inside. Now, the prices for this model start at about 80,000, but this one has had pretty much every option known to motorhoming man thrown at it, so it will be considerably more for one, as you see here. But every Explorer is well equipped and every Explorer has lots of RP details. Things like their own body kit with these side skirts running along the side of the vehicle, making it look a lot more ground hugging. Things like these panels around the flush fitting windows. Now this is a matrix finish, it just takes off that van look, as do the alloy wheels and metallic paint. You can have any Mercedes-Benz color you want. Now there's a, an Omnistore awning up the top there, but it's mounted, of course, with RP's own bracket, incorporating drainage channels at both ends, so the water runs off to either side. It's an electric awning too, and look at this door. No struggling with a big, heavy sliding door here. Electric step, of course. Now there's a fly screen on the door of course and it fits beautifully down the side so the bugs can't get around it. There's a power point, a three pin socket there for use outdoors and even to level up this so you don't trip over this ledge here, RP's own little step just slots beautifully in there. When you want to close the door it's just press a button and you can stop it anywhere along the track. But when we get inside, you start to see the real beauty of this van. There's three inches of insulation in the floor, and not only does that give you fantastic winterization, it levels up the floor through the living area right into the cab. I should say, too, that when we're talking about insul insulation and winterization, the only things that are underneath the 30 litre gas tank and the waste water tank, that's 115 litres. Fresh water is inboard. Now, being a bespoke motorhome, yes, the layout's fixed, but you can change details, like the water tank capacities. This one's got two 60-litre tanks, but you can go more, up to 100 litres each tank, 200 litres total. And those tanks are sighted over the rear wheel arches, one each side, to level up uh, weight distribution, so it won't affect your handling. And you don't drain one tank and then the other, the two tanks work in parallel. Let's keep things cosy. Now you can shut the door with this button here or if you've perhaps jumped into the cab ready to drive off and forgotten about the door, you can press a button there. Now also on the dash you've got this little button for the Aberspacker hydronic heater that pre-warms the engine and can also blow a bit of air out through these dashboard vents. That, of course, isn't your main heating. You've got a Truma Combi diesel unit that has blown air heating throughout the vehicle and, of course, is the boiler as well, all powered from diesel. Now, the cab area, you've got these lovely uh, part leather seats. Now, they are based on the Mercedes Sprinter cab seats, but redesigned with these high backs and they're actually redeveloped by a firm that does Aston Martin seats. And RP now are starting to do their own upholstery in-house too. But you've got three tables in this van. You've got this triangular one, a little square one again for sort of snacks and G&Ts perhaps in the rear lounge. And you've also got a big dining table that you can get six people around. 
Now, back to USPs of RP, and that's this furniture construction. RP are actually calling it a hybrid furniture, so there is some wood still to give the furniture strength, but this is a lightweight uh, sort of honeycomb plastic uh, construction that is used for large panels like the side of the bathroom, the side of the wardrobe, but that actually saves 100 kilos throughout the van. So you can have this vehicle as a three and a half ton motorhome, but load it up with options as this one is, and you will need to upgrade to 3850 gross weight. To say this van is loaded with kit is an understatement and lots and lots of tech. Now that's all sort of focused on this Victron touchscreen control panel here, the very latest unit. You've also got two Victron uh, lithium batteries, 200 amp hour lithium batteries. One of those is standard, the second one is an option. Then you've got this control here for your five kilowatt inverter. The inverter itself is built in in the cupboard just forward of the wardrobe, but controls up here along with everything else. Now, along with a 90 amp charger, RP say that will replenish your batteries in around about an hour and a half. The fridge over on this side, massive, tall 152 litre compressor fridge. No three-way fridge in RP's vans because they're not as efficient as compressor fridges and this one is about as big as I've ever seen a compressor fridge. Um, the power that that will take 12 volt to a week of independence from site facilities in this van. You don't need to go outside to turn your gas off when you're about to drive away. Just flick the switch and it's all shut off safely. Turn it back on and you can see your gas level in the under underslung tank on this little gauge here. And then, well, what can I say about the kitchen apart from loads of worktop, more than two meters long this kitchen before you deploy this flip up surface. Lovely Corian worktops with the draining board built in and flip the sink cover over and you've got a chopping board on there as well. Huge drawers, massive one at the bottom for all your pots and pans. There's a bin in there as well. Lots and lots of lovely storage. And the cooker is the sort of thing you expect in a great big British coach built, not in a van convention. You've got separate oven and grill, three gas burners, mains hot plate. And just remember, the gas for the cooking is the only thing that uses gas. Heating's diesel, boiler's diesel, fridge is electric. So, with a 30 litre underslung gas tank, you've got, well, I don't know, two years of gas supply for your cooking, unless you're gonna do roast beef every single day of the week. Washroom's behind a sliding door, so you don't disturb the chef if you need to pop in here. Lots of nice Corian worktop again, opening window and a vent above the door so when the door's closed you've still got a little bit of through ventilation so you won't get all steamed up in here. Um, towel hooks everywhere, two soap dispensers and then this is the feature I really like. Your shower head comes off here, attaches with this sucker so you can fit that anywhere on the GRP, that side, this side, wherever you like according to how tall you are, how big you are, wherever you want it. So if you and your partner are different sizes, it can go in different places. Very, very neat, that. And then, of course, you don't need a shower curtain because you've got this bifold door. So on a slightly drizzly day like today, this is a lovely area in which to relax. You've got plenty of space, room to put your feet up. These settees are, are more than six foot long, so you've got lots of room to relax back here, especially if there's only two of you in the van. Got scatter cushions, good views all round, lighting with these strip lights and reading lights in the corners as well. 27 inch smart TV, all the comforts you'd expect in a big motorhome, even though this is actually based on a panel van, of course. But my favourite feature, this is another RP, USP if you like, is that there isn't any 
um, carpet trim around the windows or anything. There's no bare metal on shown under the original van finish. It's all these lovely plastic mouldings all around the windows, all around the doors. It all looks very, very automotive and designed to feel like this. It, it doesn't feel like a converted van at all in any way back here. When you're converting a lounge into a bed, simplicity is the absolute key. And it couldn't be much easier than this. You just pull the slats across, drop them in, base cushions come out, backrests go down behind nice and easily. And then if you need the full length of the bed, these cushions actually come out and just slot in where the original backrests were. You can actually fill this area at the foot of the bed if you need to. If you don't, getting in and out of the bed is actually easier. Bed measurements, six foot six long by four foot eight wide. So plenty big enough for most people and very few joins, all nice and flat, really good double bed. Sitting here, looking at the Yorkshire countryside, it's not hard to see the appeal of this new Explorer 2. It's got loads of equipment, it's got the top quality, it's got the latest tech, but more than anything, it's got loads of space, loads of space in the kitchen, really practical washroom, and of course, this lovely spacious lounge area, which makes a good bed too. You've even got decent storage. Open the back doors and you've got good storage under this seating area here as well. It's one of a range of models from RP. They don't build bespoke one-offs, but they will tailor the spec of the vehicle to your exact requirements. Even all the Mercedes-Benz options that are available up right up to four-wheel drive and so on. And then, well, this particular model, look at it. It's just got this wonderful rear lounge, the ideal, ultimate two-berth van conversion. Driving this Explorer is, well, you, you don't feel like you're driving a commercial vehicle at all. You've got this 10 and a quarter inch MBUX display from Mercedes with the sat nav and everything. Um, that is your reversing screen as well when, you, when you're going backwards. All the switches for your phone and so on on the steering wheel. Nice leather bound wheel feels uh, tactile. Then you've got all the latest safety features, traffic sign assist, blind spot assist and so on. In fact, when I was maneuvering the vehicle earlier, not only does it warn you about things front and aft, but it actually warns you if you're gonna hit something at the side as well. The crowning glory of this vehicle is without a doubt the optional, albeit optional, 190 horsepower V6 diesel engine fitted here. Um, 163 VHP four cylinder diesel is standard. This is, this is an upgrade but it is very, very smooth and has oodles of power. We've just shot up uh, through the Yorkshire Dales and it just doesn't feel as if hills exist. The big thing though, compared with other large motorhomes is that it's just the width of a van. It's not wide like a coach built. So if you're threading it through the Yorkshire Dales as we are today, it doesn't feel that big on the road and it does feel very effortless.